Yeah, I'm gonna clean my vehicle here because the guy called me. He's got a, a washer dryer and some, some metal ducting. So I'm gonna clean some stuff I got here from yesterday. I already took, a bit, I already took a, some stuff out already, but oh, this is heavy. Particle board. Okay. So, like a washer dryer, and then get some ducting, and I gotta first do an inspection first. That's what I can do first. So, I gotta figure out how to clean this out. We gotta try to collect a check today, and the guy's in North Vancouver, so works out for me this is really heavy since there's not that much plastic I'm gonna do a, an opening on this and see what kind of mortar we get so stay tuned I'm not sure if it's gonna be today but next year so we'll open this baby up and see what's in it for a mortar be interesting because normally they're not that heavy so I imagine it's gonna be a good mortar old school probably from the 80s 90s okay let's continue here it's amazing how fast the wire adds up huh just like that oh so my buddy gave me yesterday he gave me some electronics he gave me a whole Bose system that's all Bose wireless remote control get the speakers I got the sound bar they gave me some metal detecting coils for uh, the GPX stream my lab <clears throat> gave me these coils here for that's a white spectrum coil that's a gp extreme coil and this is a coil tech for gp extreme these are really expensive coils this broke down so they're not gonna bother okay we can wash the machine Cycle day today, so I guess guys, this only appliance is out. Great size, it's pretty heavy. It's the kind they put a brick in. here and appliances there my brother called me and he told me there was some stuff here but he, I think he missed the one on the corner so there was a stacker washer dryer stacker right there and a bunch of bikes okay so let's get her in hopefully get everything in stack here real good off here so not fumbling on it I'll probably take a lighter one first I believe
yeah, it's heavy. Very heavy. It's full, full of water. You know, I can drain it. Too heavy, can't move it. Real heavy. If I can lift it. the bikes. Okay. Funny how one guy sticks out stuff and then everybody else sticks out stuff. This makes it awesome. Just steel frames, steel wheels. Let's take that wheel off. Let's make it easier. off it's all steel wheels and no aluminum nothing nothing great yeah the pickup the guy called me he said there's no one to help it's kind of in the basement so I told him I need a hand 
But uh, he's got workers working there, so we get it one day, no big deal. this side I might actually take this to scrap here after I'll see how much it gets get the dryer vent off after plug Recycling later or garbage, whatever. So what I might do is I might just actually dump this. Not right now, but I'll dump it. Just see what, what it's worth. Three appliances, three bikes. Just for the hell of it, right? Okay, I can do an inspection right now, so I gotta run. I was supposed to go to West Bank because that's why I cleaned the vehicle. Now I have to take this to my inspection and I don't like doing that because sometimes you always find stuff metal laying around. It's just good contents or junk. Hate to have a full vehicle, right? If you know what I mean? Okay. I'm corner and I see a pressure washer here sitting by a bus stop, which is strange. It's a cheap one anyways, but... Well, you can tell they're cheap. They're, they're super light. When they're really, really heavy, you know they're good. Someone probably broke down and just walked and dumped out of the bus stop. Can't see a guy taking a bus. The pressure wash, but... Anyways, that's the way it goes. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Garbage, huh? Take the wheel. You recycle some stuff, huh? Oh, I'm thinking that you're gonna yeah? take them all. Can't take them all. Too much stuff. Hmm. People move out? Yeah. They leave, leave garbage behind, huh? I do not know why he didn't complain. Yeah, because it's no good, probably. That's why. People leave stuff behind all the time. Let me cut this cord off. Yeah, I take a metal. I'm going to scrap here right after. And even that, yeah. Radio. Scrap it. Any more stuff? No? No more. Just that's it, huh? Sometimes you can score good stuff at the right time, right place. No more? Not much left. Okay. Yeah, that guy was funny. He's telling me, take, take this, take that, take garbage. I don't take garbage. It's pretty funny.
scrap yard closes shortly, so I just wanted to run around, see if I can pick a little bit of metal up in the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I went to scrap yard, I got one hour before it closes, so I'm hoping I'm not too far from it. I'm about, I don't know, 10 minutes away from scrap yard, so I figured I'll try this area. It was recycle day today, so maybe something will pop up. Just never know, right? Get maybe a trampoline or something, or I can also get this cord of that bunch of junk. Cord looks nice with USB phone charging cord. The recycle trucks right there, actually. Recycle day might be better than garbage day, just because people want to recycle. And they figure I'll throw a metal out when it's recycle day. You got three guys working the truck. Or maybe not, maybe. Maybe not, no. There's four guys there now. Here's this thing here's been sitting for for ages. That cedar. Seed spreader. I'll take it. It's like going to scrap yard. Mostly plastic, but Let's throw it in. If it fits. Pretty close. Nope. Might not fit. Might not fit. It's been here for weeks already. Yeah, it has. I'm hoping to get it in. Going to scrapyard. Okay, it's in. She's happy. Okay, let's keep uh, moving. TV set here, TV set there. She even agreed. I said it's been here for weeks. She even said, yeah. Let me see what's in that bag there. Some scraper. Take the scraper part out. Okay, cruise around a little more. I'm not expecting a lot in this area just because one guy lives in Syria and it's a small community here of about maybe 500 houses and it's all zigzag streets everywhere so you know if you live in the area you can just cruise in the morning for a couple hours or not even like for one hour I don't know why they got these bags sitting like that hmm. Look at the, those bags in detail. Sometimes those no exit areas are good. Most scrappers, ah, no exit, they don't go that way. And then all of a sudden, there could be something just in the very top corner. Okay, let's see what else there is. Okay, uh, I took back the, all that metal that I showed you the last part of my video. It was uh, 600 pounds of uh, tin, ended up being uh, $39. So, I mean, it's not a big amount of money, but it was okay because everything came from basically that one corner only, that, like one block, within maybe uh, 150 feet of each other, all that stuff. And then when I was going uh, towards home, I found a few things, uh, not much. But the majority of the weight was, you know, I found maybe a couple bucks. But the majority was probably around thirty-seven dollars for that one block, which is pretty nice. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna take. Uh, I guess I have one stove in a van, a white van. I'm gonna take that out. I wanna, I wanna clean it out. It's a microwave on a strip. 
uh, that's pretty well it I think and then some junk and I'll load that up full and dump it tomorrow clean whatever's in my yard organize that should work out pretty good okay stay tuned okay I'm gonna strip this weed eater it's a heavy one very heavy I think it's just steel it's a steel shaft here I don't see aluminum steel yeah so very heavy I'm gonna strip it and see what we get out of it from water and stuff see what we can what kind of mortars in this thing Normally I don't I don't strip these because they're just like not worth it. But this one's being so heavy. I'm curious on what's what's in involved here for a mortar. One second, let me just uh check the phone. I'll just call it back later. So anyways, just wanted to show you the mortar. Well, it's actually got quite the mortar here. Let me just cut the leads for now. Okay, got two pieces of plastic. Then we have the handle here with some wire on it. A bunch of screws. And we're gonna deal with a little bit of plastic, huh? So we can't do much about it. There. So basically, I can just shred this the way it is, with even a little bit of plastic on it. Have a wire here. Use that to switch. And cut that over here. Get yourself a little bit of wire right here. What do we have for mortar here now? Okay, so we got two screws here. Looks like. Hmm. So basically it's just an armature. There's a, there's a copper, I mean not copper, uh, there's a, a magnet on one side. We've got a little bit of cast aluminum. Kind of a nice piece where the brushes are being held. I wonder how it comes out. Piece of brass. The clip, brass, and a little piece of copper. So we can get this off here. Okay, so all it does is he's got to just pry it out. And then there's a little bit of paper here. Goes around. Paper. So there, it has to be um, knocked out. It's a bushing here to clean it properly. You have to knock that bushing out. Looks almost like it's brass. Okay, there's also a little plate in here. The plate was uh, metal. So now we have a clean, clean cast aluminum. And then let me see this bushing here. Yeah, nice brass bushing here. Quite heavy actually. That's good. So basically it's on an armature. Basically it looks like copper. But you know. See a little file here. Yeah. Yeah, also you got another brass on this side, maybe I can knock it down. Let me 
find some pliers or something. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. It's unscrewing. There. So another bushing again. We pound out again. Perfect. So we got uh, the steel. That's not the right one. And we've got two of these bushings. They look like brass, brass, even almost copper like aluminum. The armature is full copper. So it's plastic. So basically, this is all plastic. We can shred this one the way it is. So not too bad actually, considering. But you know, if you're going to strip them, make sure they're really heavy. If they're not heavy, just don't waste your time. Because usually the, the mortars will be real dinky and small. And some are aluminum, the shafts. So you know, you might have a, a benefit there. So probably worth stripping some of them. It's just up to you, right? A lot of times I just throw them to shred just because. It's just so much simple just to just throw it in there and sell the plastic and everything for what you know for the shred price versus taking the plastic out and I have to dispose of plastic now. So I got a little piece of tin here. I can probably pull the magnets magnets out, I think. Just a couple cl two clips here. I think they hold the magnet in place, I would think. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, they're coming loose. So got, there it is. There it is. So you got two magnets. So they come in handy for cleaning up the garbage on the ground. So it's not a bad magnet. So. so two magnets in there. Nice piece of heavy steel. Really heavy. So I, I think it's worth stripping. Like not all of them, but the ones that are heavy. So just. It's up to you if you got nothing to do, strip it. If you don't, don't the shred. You still get either either way you're making money. You know, now I'll see I have an armature which I can sell for copper. I think they pay 20, 22 cents a pound, maybe for copper mortars. I think this is classified as a mortar. So um, these ones like I say they're a little bit hard just hard to clean just because there's glue. In between here and they're tight they're in there so tight and glued in there and varnished that uh, they're hard to get apart but some guys put them in a fire or they burn them so I mean it's your choice I mean you could cut it with a grinder around and pop it out a bit I mean that works too but it's time-consuming the thing weighs you know a couple pounds I would think okay that's it on that one